Hi guys, how are you? This is a very important conversation that we're gonna have. I'm gonna try not to make the video too long and stuff like that. But this conversation I literally was having with God, like we went on a long like road trip. And um, this is not my vacation, this is the kids vacation, okay? So we went on a long road trip and I was just meditating in the car, <laughs> talking to God in the car. And I got two messages, okay? But I'm gonna talk about the first message, okay? So when God says, you know, touch, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm okay when people hear that they instantly only think of the touch not my prophets you get what i'm saying touch not my anointed touch right and they feel like they, it means physically hurting someone no doing don't do my prophets no harm means the way you think about them your intentions towards them can't be ill. Do you get what I'm saying? Your motives towards them can't be ill. The words that you speak out of your mouth, the Bible says life and death is in the tongue, okay? The words that you speak out of your mouth towards a prophet cannot be ill. You have to understand something. When you are extremely anointed and when you are called, right, God has a shield on you. So anyone that speaks ill towards you, anyone that's evil that speaks ill towards you, what ends up happening is everything they say towards you hits them right back. So if they try to put a curse upon your life, they curse their own life. If they try to do a spell on you, it, it curse, it, the spell hits them right back. Do you get what I'm saying? Because God is anointing you, God is covering you, and that's with everything, even down to words, okay? Down to words. They say sticks and stones uh, may break your bones, but words will never hurt me, and that's a lie, because words, the Bible says life and death is in the tongue. Okay, you can speak things into manifestations and you have to be careful who you talk ill against. How many of you guys, people talked ill about you and God has used you? How many of you guys have been through a rough patch and people have always said to you, you're not, you're not going to be nothing in life, you know, you're not going to be this, you're not going to be that. And how many people put you down, but then God ended up using you. God ended up calling you. You ended up being a chosen one. You ended up being an anointed one. You ended up being a prophet of God, right? That's the point. You got to be careful who you speak ill towards because what may end up happening is the person that you speak ill towards, God may actually bless that person and what you spoke towards that person, that curse may be placed upon your own life. What people don't understand is when you are sitting here speaking ill about, and you may say to yourself, well, I'm not cursing that person. I'm just calling that person demonic, or I'm just calling that person evil. I'm, and let, you know, let's just say you say stuff like that. If that person really is not demonic, if that person is really not evil, if that person is really not doing what you say they're doing, you're speaking that upon your own life now. Do you get what I'm saying? That's why you got to be very careful of who you speak towards and, and what you say about other people. Because when God says, do my prophets no harm, harm can be Word, the words that are coming out your mouth towards another person as well that can cause harm okay and that can affect your life now what happens a lot of people who are called or a lot of people who are walking with god they may not be called but they may be walking with god what i mean by that is is they may have been sent but they were not chosen there's a lot of people that think because they know the word and they know like the back of their hand and because they went to school for bible study or because they've been in church their whole life and stuff like that they instantly feel like they're entitled to talk badly about another person who also says that they've been called or who says that god has anointed them or god has chosen them they feel like they're entitled to talk badly about someone else because they 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 know the bible or they know god so they can call someone else demonic they can call someone else stupid they can call someone else evil they can call someone else a false prophet they can call someone else all these names and say oh you're satanic or you worship the devil and all of that because they feel entitled to do that not realizing that the the words touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm also applies to those who walk with god it doesn't just apply to evil people those who are known to be evil it applies to those as well who are walking with god god has higher expectations from you as a child that's walking with him than he has of those who are actually evil do you get what i'm saying because god has higher expectations from you though that those words can apply to you too do my prophets no harm it means not putting down another one of his prophets not calling someone else something that you that you feel that they are when they're really not that do you get what i'm saying because you have to be careful because if you sit there and you're saying okay because i know the bible more or because i know i i've been in church my whole life that person that claims they're called is not called they're satanic they're demonic 
um, I, I have discernment. I know they're demonic. I know they worship the devil. And, and that all is a lie. And that's not even true. Do you know the words that you just spoke out of your mouth? Those words going to hit you right back. Why? Because God knows that person's life. And God knows what that person really does behind closed doors. So if you're sitting here and you're speaking all this towards someone that didn't even do all that, and you're speaking all this out your mouth, and it's not even the truth. You're, the Bible says a fool is quick to speak without thinking, right? So if you're speaking all this out your mouth and you don't even have, you claim to have discernment and your discernment is completely off about that person, God will make a fool out of you. It don't matter if you're his child, don't matter if you're walking with him, he will still make a fool out of you, right? So... Because what you can do is you can place a curse upon your own life by speaking ill against someone else. This is why, let me tell you something. This is why God tells me all the time. Because I hear from God, I talk to God, and God tells me all the time, do not talk ill about nobody else walking with me. He says, be careful who you talk about. Why do you think it took me so long to even talk about my testimony relating to who was doing spell work and stuff on me, my family. Why well, I think I don't ever mention names, right? Even though I know what's being done to me, it took me a while to even talk about my testimony because I wanted to be 100% certain that I wasn't falsely accusing anybody. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I know that if I do that, God is going to deal with me and I don't want to lose my blessings. I'm very careful because I know God is, God is blessing me. I know God is doing wonders in my life and I don't want to block that by quickly speaking out my mouth against someone and, and falsely accusing them or quickly speaking out my mouth against someone that doesn't deserve to, to have specific things spoken to spoken against them do you get what i'm saying so i say this to say because i've had conversations with god i was having conversations with god in the car too do you know that sometimes when god tells us things about people he's not telling us things to expose people let me give you examples when i started doing my prophetic channel god says he he forbids me to talk badly about someone else on my channel he forbids me to talk badly about another youtuber he forbids me to mention anyone's name on my channel you know what i mean he forbids me he he says you can you can put out a prophetic word but he forbids me to to bring up any names and all that stuff and you know why because he is training me okay he is training me and he and i'm very cautious right and you know why too because he says everyone is not perfect he said everyone's not perfect let me tell you something there's people there you know how much times god shows me something about someone and i see what he's showing me about them but because i don't have ill intentions i have good intentions for everybody i'm not quick to go run and make a video about that person and say god told me this about that person god told me that about that person you know why because god told me not to and you know even if he never told me not to that's not my character See, when you when you don't like someone, when you're competitive with someone and you are competing with someone, guess what? As soon as God shows you what another child of God is battling behind the scenes, guess what? Because you have that competitive spirit, because you have that jealous spirit, because you have the envious spirit, guess what? It don't matter what God says in your mind. All that matters is, whoa, God showed me what they're battling. I'm going to make a video and call them false and, and call them all these sorts of names and try to get people to not talk to them, not follow them and all of that. Why? Because God is showing me this about them that means they're false do you know that when god shows you what another brother and sister in christ is going through that doesn't mean that they're false do you know that means that they're going through something and god may be showing this to you for you to pray for them god may be showing you what they're battling behind the scenes it does not mean they're not walking with god are you forgetting that noah was a drunk are you forgetting that god saved prostitutes are you forgetting that you know, um, I think it was, who was the, I forgot, I forgot who was a thief, but somebody was a thief. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you know that walking with God takes time, right? And I'm saying this to say that God has shown me so many people who do prophetic videos, who are going through stuff behind the scenes. And I, I would say to myself, whoa, if people saw what this person was doing. Whew. But do you think I would go out there and say anything? No. You know why? Because I'm not perfect myself. And I know that I had issues. I hold the spirit. <laughs> he just came through. I know that I have ha I had issues in the past too. I told y'all in the past I had a drinking problem. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm good now, but in the past I had a drinking problem. So when God shows me things about people, I'm not gonna sit there and, and talk badly about them and run with that. See, when you have a jealous spirit and you have a bad spirit, you have bad motives towards someone, you're gonna run with something. God doesn't always show you stuff about other people because God wants to expose, wants you to go publicly and expose them and humiliate them and da -da. No, sometimes God shows you stuff about people because he wants you to pray for them because he wants to show you, look, this brother and sister in Christ is going through something just like you. It doesn't mean that they're not walking with God. If you watch the Chosen series, 
Look what happened to Mary. Mary was walking with God. Mary was chosen, but Mary was still doing some sinful things. Mary still went back and started gambling. And Mary was chosen from God, but Mary went back and did some sinful things. But did that mean that Mary was not walking with God no more? No, it just mean Mary slipped up, right? So imagine now if, if, if one of the Pharisees saw what Mary was doing, they probably would have ran to Christ and said, oh, look what Mary's doing. And they probably would have said, this person that's following Christ is doing this and is doing that. You get what I'm saying? They're false, they're fake, they're this, because look what they're doing. But when Mary, when, when Mary went back to Christ, Christ said, it's okay, you're not perfect. I didn't expect you to I didn't expect you to be perfect overnight. I didn't expect you to wholeheartedly walk fully with me overnight. It takes time. Do you see what I'm saying? So there's a lot of times I'm telling you guys, God will show me other people. And I don't even ask him. But you know why God trusts me to show me other people? He'll trust me other show me other prophetic leaders. He'll show me other apostles and, uh, and and preachers. He'll show me some of the stuff they're going through behind the scenes and some of the stuff they're battling with that the church doesn't even know about. But you would never see me go on here and publicly expose them, publicly humiliate them, and publicly shame them because why? God God trained me better. God raised me better. God raised me better because one God, I don't know for sure if, if this is, if they're fake or not. I don't know for sure. You get what I'm saying? God won't tell me. God doesn't tell me stuff like that. He just says, look what this person's battling. You know what I'll do? I'll end up praying for them. I'll end up praying for them, right? And not only that, because I know I'm not perfect as well. I know I'm not perfect. You get what I'm saying? But just because I'm not perfect, does that mean that I wasn't called? No. Does that mean I'm fake? No, because I can definitely hear the voice of God. <laughs> does that mean that I don't have the gift to see? No. It just means I'm human. I got to work on some things. Does that mean my heart's bitter? No. Out of all that, I still have a good heart. I still have good motives. See, when you when God shows you something and you're quick to go run, and, and this here's the thing. Sometimes God, like I said, sometimes not God's not showing it to you for you to go and publicly humiliate the person. Sometimes God is showing it to you because he's trying to show you what the person's going through. But what happens is, like I said, when you have a bitter spirit, angry spirit, jealous spirit, you have, you're not operating through the Holy Spirit, you're gonna you're gonna twist what God tells you and make it seem like God is exposing someone and wanting you to expose them. That's how it's gonna be twisted when you when you're operating in that spirit. Okay? Unless it's a testimony and something somebody was hurting you and God wants you to talk about your testimony, your testimony will automatically humiliate those who hurt you. That's what I told you guys that past. Your testimony will humiliate those who hurt you, right? But when you, when God is showing you what someone else is battling behind the scenes and you're quick to go run and, 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 and use that as a way to say someone's fake or someone's not real, da, 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 and all of that stuff, that says a lot about you. God is not going to bless you. You know what? That, that's a test that you failed if you do that. You know why? Because God now knows he can't trust you to show you what another brother and sister is battling. He can't even trust you enough to show you that. He can't even trust. It's like, why would God show you something for you to go and gossip about that person's issues? Why would God show you something for you to go and gossip? It's like, why would, the Bible says not to gossip, right? So you have to, this is why I say be careful when you see videos exposing this person exposing that person exposing that be careful with those types of videos you know why because the holy spirit don't operate like that i don't care who gets mad the holy spirit does not operate like that he does not because i'm so fearful of god to get convicted you would never see me doing a video like that ever because i'm so i'm too fearful of god i'm too fearful of god and i know one thing about god is he he, he wants me to consistently have a good heart and that's not having a good heart right and the reason why I'm saying this too is because you have to understand something. When you see videos like that, someone's not operating in the right spirit. Someone's not, that person's not operating in the right spirit. When God shows you someone's struggle, it's not for you to publicly humiliate them. When you do stuff like that, it's only going to cause slander. It's only going to cause gossip. It's going to cause chaos and the devil likes chaos. The devil loves chaos. All that's going to do now is have a bunch of people with pitchforks running after that person who's already battling with that issue that God just trusted you to show you. God ain't, gonna, God ain't gonna trust you with a lot now because he can't even trust you with that. It's like a friend coming to you and saying stuff, you know, my um my mom's battling with um with drugs. I'll give you an example. My mom's battling with drugs. And then you go and publicly make a video exposing that person's mom. Say, oh, that person's in a church and she does drugs and da 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 she doesn't walk with God. She does drugs. She doesn't walk with God. She does drugs. 
that person that came to you and, and tried to confide to you and tried to tell you what this other person's going through, you know, did not expect you to go and do that. So now that you go and do that, that person ain't going to come back and tell you nothing no more. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you guys know that alone is a test from God? God won't test you, but that alone is letting God reveal, allowing him, yourself to reveal yourself, allowing you to reveal who you are to yourself. Do you know that? Sometimes God won't do things to, to test us. What he'll do is he'll, 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 he'll get us to do stuff, like he'll tell us stuff. And then when we do something that we're not proud of, we kind of reveal ourselves to ourselves. It's kind of like looking in the mirror kind of thing. It's kind of like, whoa, did I just really do something like that? God told me this and I actually went to do that. Whoa. And you start to reflect on yourself and realize like, wow, I really, I really did that. And then this is why people block their blessings. This is why people block their blessings because a lot of people run with having ill motives and having ill intentions and speaking quickly and ill is illfully a word i don't even know if illfully is a word speaking speaking badly about someone who they don't even know about someone because someone else said something i'm speaking badly about you because that person told me because so and so said this about you so if she's right about that or he's right about that because so and so said this about you guess what you do when you do that you block your own blessings when you do that this is why god tells me stephanie mind your business <laughs> if i show you something about someone it's because i want you to pray for them do you get what i'm saying so that's how people block their blessings there's a lot of people that still walk with God and God still helps them. God still talks to them, but they can't get blessed to a specific level because they're not, they have not, they have not corrected themselves fully in specific areas of their life. When God corrects you and convicts you for something and you keep doing it, he will still help you. He will still love you. Yes, you're still walking with him, but he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna bless you to, to the extent that you want to be blessed because there's some things that you're refusing to change about yourself. There's some things you're refusing to learn and because you're too prideful. Do you get what I'm saying? When I have to drop all, I drop all my pride, all my pride. When I start working on my heart, I start minding my business, y'all. I don't talk badly about nobody. If I talk about something, it's about a warfare symptom, warfare is going on, something that I may have, a prophetic word that I may have, or a testimony. You get what I'm saying? A testimony explaining what I I've been through but you will never see me talking badly and, and, and exposing this exposing that da, 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 and, and calling out names and putting people down because you know why because I went through issues just like these other people it does not mean they were not called they can be called and still just be in, in sin they can be they can be called and still be struggling you know struggling and fighting off warfare struggling with the devil do you get what I'm saying so you have to understand that that's how you guys actually block your breasts. And this is why sometimes, um, not you guys, but you got to talk about whoever does this. This is why you'll see some people, some, some ministers and preachers and stuff that do this type of stuff. They're still in the same boat. They're not elevating. And this is why they're not elevating. Because this is something that they're refusing to work on. You see what I'm saying? God won't tell you something about someone for you to go cause chaos and gossip and slander and to tear that person down. Do you get what I'm saying? Sometimes God is showing you what someone's battling behind the scenes for you to pray for them. Sometimes God is showing you because God knows you're going to do the wrong thing and God God is going to allow you to do it, right? And when God allows you to do it, that's a reflection of you. He is showing you what you have to work on, but a lot of people ignore that, okay? So guys, I'm just letting you guys notice and I'm keeping it real, okay? I'm keeping it real, okay? Like I'm keeping it real. A lot of people struggle with this stuff and this is something that a lot of people have to work on if you, you wanna continue elevating through Christ, okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. I have one more message. I'll put out right now. Bye.